As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. The guidance of the Prophet, peace be upon him, in showing the status of martyrdom and martyrs. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever-glorious book, and the martyrs with the Lord will have their reward and their light. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The master, the master of all humans, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa guided his nation to the highest rank and noblest degrees. This way, that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was keen to reveal the great status of martyrdom and its unique nobility. It goes without saying that martyrs are heroes who sacrifice themselves in full satisfaction and in support of the religion and to preserve their homeland. And therefore, they receive a great reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the world. Allah Most High said, and the martyrs with the Lord will have the reward and their light. Allah the Almighty also said, Allah has purchased the persons and positions of the believers in return of the paradise. They fight in Allah's way. They kill and they are killed. This is a true promise given by him in the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran. Martyrs are alive with their Lord, who gave them the best provision. They also remain alive in the memory of their nations and homeland. The Almighty Allah said, Prophet, do not think of those who have been killed in Allah's way as dead. They are alive with the Lord, well provided for, happy with what Allah has given them of his favor. The Prophet ﷺ said, their spirits are in the groups of green birds. They go wherever they wish in paradise and then return to lambs suspended from the throne. It was due to the high rank of martyrdom, the Prophet ﷺ hoped to be a martyr, saying, By him in whose hands my life is, I would love to be martyred in Allah's cause, and then get resurrected, and then get martyred, and then get resurrected again, and then get martyred, and then get resurrected again, and then get martyred. Also the Prophet showed that martyrs hope to return to the world of life, in order to get the great status of being a martyr again and again. He, peace be upon him, said, Nobody who enters paradise like to go back to the world, even if he got everything on earth except a martyr who wishes to return to the world so that he may be martyred ten times because of the dignity he receives from Allah. It is the guidance of our Prophet وسلم, that he used to share the families of martyr their feeling and offer them both material and moral comfort and inform them of the high degrees of martyrdom and martyrs. It was narrated that Jabir ibn Abdullah said, the messenger of Allah met me and said to me, O oh Jabir, why do I see you upset? I said, O oh Messenger of Allah, my father was martyred, leaving my family and death behind. He, peace be upon him, said, Shall I give you news of what your father met Allah with? Who said, Of course, O oh Messenger of Allah. Who, he said, Allah does not speak to him, does not speak to anyone except from behind a veil. But he brought your father to speak to him directly. He said, O oh my slave, do you wish that I give you anything? He said, O oh Lord, give me a life so that I may fight for you a second time. So the Lord blessed and most high said, it has been decreed by me that they shall not return. He said, so this verse was revealed. Think not of those as dead who are killed in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
When Ja'far ibn Abu Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, was martyred, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, gave the family of Ja'far a three days respite. He then came to them and said, Do not weep for my brother after this day. He then said, Call for me the children of my brother. He addressed them saying, Muhammad looks like our uncle Abu Talib, and Abdullah looks like me in my shape and manners. He then said, May Allah bless the family of Ja'far, and bless the trade of his son Abdullah. Then the wife of Ja'far came and mentioned to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, that her children become orphans. He, peace be upon him, replied, saying, Poverty is the thing you fear, while I'm their guardian in the world and in the hereafter. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. It is a beautiful thing that the new anniversary of a victory of 6th of October war, war coincides with the month of Rabi'ul al Awwal, in which we celebrate the birth of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It will be an opportunity to remind us of the guidance of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in honoring martyrs who sacrificed themselves in order to de defend their faith and land and honor. This reminds us of the nobility and the great status of those who spend their nights guarding and defending homeland. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, there are two eyes which, which will never be touched by hell. An eye which weaves from fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and an eye which spends the night of the guard of Allah's path. He, peace be upon him, also said, Shall I not tell you of a night better than Laylatul Qadr, the one who keeps watch at night over the troops in a land of fear or war? for that he may return to his family. However, we emphasize that being grateful to the sacrifices of our martyrs require that each of us to be a soldier of this country in his area of work, exert his full efforts in the service of this great country, and all of us should to stand united behind our army, police, and other national institutions we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with a martyrdom for his sake. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has said, He who asks Allah for martyrdom, Allah will raise him to the high status of the martyrs, even if he dies on his bed. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world. Thank you.